Hello everyone, uh, my name is Connor Gray and I'm obviously a student in Dr. Taylor's Natural History of Cleveland class, just like everyone else in the room. Uh, the location and green space I chose is one we all should be familiar with, and that is Public Square, which is right in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. The title of my project is going to be very simple and I'm going to title it The Public Square Upgrade. I picked this green space mainly because in my view, um, there could definitely be some changes and I either visit or walk by it at least once a week, just like many of you may do as well. Uh, the renovations can not only impact just us, but in many other residents and visitors to the downtown area, and it could attract more people casually that, to visit the area and Cleveland in general. Over time, uh, the 10-acre park and square has provided a leisure for visitors, residents, and workers where they can casually enjoy their lunch breaks very often. Throughout the history of this green space, uh, it has been used for a variety of different activities and events, and it dates way back to before we all came along. As some of you may already know, Cleveland is named after Moses Cleveland, who was a lawyer, politician, soldier, and land surveyor. In 1796, Public Square was originally a plot of land overseen by Moses Cleveland and remains today as an integral part of the city's center. Originally owned by Connecticut Land Company, which is a company Moses Cleveland worked for to design the city, Public Square is now owned by the city of Cleveland. the National Register of Historical Places on December 18th of 1975. Although it was initially used for animals, there's no current wildlife other than a few squirrels that pass through. The landscape of Public Square now has not really changed much since the original use. It is ultimately a flat space with no hills or valleys because it is located in the downtown city. There is not much wildlife other than animals that were sheltered there in the 1800s. Throughout the years, Public Square has drastically changed for the better or for the worse in some eyes, and now it is used for a variety of different events and activities. Public Square was recently renovated and opened back up to the public about one. square and half down the middle. Currently there is a green space on one half with man-made hills for leisure and other activities where people can participate in. There is currently a splash fountain for the summer months to occupy the other half of the area and is made into an ice rink in the winter months. This is actually a very controversial topic of this Superior Avenue being open to the buses because many argue the safety of visitors would be in harm if the state opened to the buses. The site location is vital to the areas it brings in many different visitors and tourists. Uh, the convenient location makes it easily accessible to people who would want to shop at Tower City, take the transit to other Cleveland locations, go to an Indians or Cavs game, and is surrounded by various different businesses where they can't, where those workers can use a leisure space during their lunch breaks or other breaks. Also located here is a little coffee shop. Here people can purchase coffee, other drinks, and food to enjoy while visiting the area. This place also has cornhole boards and a ping pong table where you can play both of these games and enjoy your time while visiting. The site visit was very simple for me. Uh, while I was at Public Square examining the green space, I did do counts. Uh, in conclusion to that, I was able to notice a variety of different uses for the green space. Um, some of the people were just sitting around in the lounge area uh, just to relax and taking the views and people watch while one group was playing a game on the green space leisure. And there were tons of different people that were able to uh, walk around the splash pool and were sitting along the edges of the splash pool because it was a nice 80 degree day out. I didn't notice most people that were visiting in the area were just walking through or they stopped very briefly just to look at something or talk to someone they knew. Um, obviously because of the surrounding area of the downtown, this space can be used for a variety of different activities and events, but many improvements to the area would could increase safety and leisure area for residential people. So in summary, uh, I do want to point out a few of the key factors that I did mention throughout this video. One, uh, Public Square was originally used to shelter animals, and this shows the utilization of the green space and has rapidly increased in the past 200 years. Two, I want to highly emphasize the current accommodations in the square, which include a leisure green space, a water fountain in the summer, and an ice rink in the winter, and in addition, a coffee shop as well. Three, many people use the square for a variety of different reasons, and I'm sure all of you could use it for some type of uh, activity or leisure in any situation. So just want to point out a few changes that I would personally make to accommodate for a better use for the uh, number one I would get rid of Superior Avenue and cut out the bus lanes in the middle. I think that does drastically increase safety if that's not in there. Uh, it would be more um, appealing to families and children in the area. 
Also, I think adding another restaurant could spike or a diner could spike attraction to the area. Uh, I think that if you have a kind of maybe not so fancy, but a place where families and couples could definitely enjoy, that would bring in more attraction to the area. Adding public bathrooms and drinking fountains would be a nice accommodation as well. Uh, lastly, I think the addition of sand volleyball courts in the summer would be great. I think it would draft, uh, attract a younger demographic and they would use the green space accordingly. Uh, I do want to thank you for your time and I hope you all use Public Square for some type of reason sometime in the future and I want you all to have a fantastic day. Thank you.